I have never known Trump, but I have met him a few times over a fairly long period, over 30 years, actually, through different circumstances. And I will say that um, while I never would have voted for him as president, and I always thought he was um, somewhat <laughs> untrustworthy and a bit of a, a showman and a bit of a scammer, he never lost himself and became so strangely insecure and so weirdly um, um, irritable until he had his own addiction, in this case to Twitter. And it's, it's really damaged him. I mean, I, I view Trump in a way as a victim. Um, really? Oh, yeah, absolutely. His character has been really damaged by his Twitter addiction. Because of the reaction he gets from each tweet. Yeah, so you know what happens uh, in addiction is the addict becomes hooked not just on the good part of the addiction experience, but on the whole cycle. So a gambler is not just addicted to winning, but to this whole process where they mostly lose. And in the same way, uh, the Twitter addict or the social media addict becomes addicted to this engagement, which is often unpleasant, where they're engaged in these... Uh, you know, really abusive exchanges with other human beings. And only once in a while is that, you know, you'll, you can watch Trump, like every once in a while there will be this tweet where somebody likes him and that's when he gets his little, uh, we call it in the trade, the dopamine hit. Uh, uh, that's what it's called on Facebook, for instance. He gets his little dopamine hit, and then he dives in for more negativity and things, then he gets it again. And you, you can see the addiction playing out. 